Okay, so I'd like you to open the uh, star graphics PDF again, and we're going to go through this, and this time we're going to use the historic filters. So I'm going to start by making a copy here, and go to Effect and Distort, and I'm going to go to Free Distort to begin with. And what you can do is take these little modules like this and then move them, and you can distort this any way you like. And of course, to keep it that way, you go to Object and Expand Appearance, and there you have it. Okay, let's do this again, make another copy of it. And this time we'll go to Effect and Distort, and this time Pucker and Bloat. So if you bloat it, it looks like this. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Okay, let's pump it. Make a copy here, and go to Effect and Distort and let's pucker it. So we'll do it the opposite direction. There we go. Ooh, that looks like a 60s type of graphic. Okay, let's make a copy here again. And make a copy of it. And go to Effect, and Distort, and Transform, and go to Rough It. And you can mess with these different options here, and I'll just preview it here, and you can say whether you want corners that are rough, or however you would like it to be, and I'll just say OK here, and you can see it's pretty crazy and wild. OK, now let's do this again now, make another copy. And we'll come to Effect, and Distort, and, oops, and Transform. Okay, so this is the old Transform, and you can scale it, and, let's see, you know, rotate it, and stuff like that. So let me just move some of this, and, and you see you can move these things like that, and transform them, and, and do a lot of the stuff that, that you might have done um, just with the transform tools. Okay, so I'll say OK to that. And, of course, if you want this to stay that way, you have to go to Object and Expand Appearance. Okay, so let's put this down again. Make a copy of it by holding down the Alt key. And we'll go to Effect, and it's the Distort, and let's go to Tweak this time. And here you can always preview, which is kind of nice. And we'll just change a little bit here. And you can go to Absolute or Relative. Okay, I didn't really change that much, or maybe I didn't have that. Oh changed a lot. Wow. Okay, isn't that crazy? Let's go OK here. And um, so I'll make another copy here. And we'll go to Effect and Distort and Twist. And ooh, I like the Twist one. And I'm going to put in an angle of 45 degrees and click on OK. What happened? All of these twisted. That's cool. Okay. So I'm going to choose this one more time and make a copy of it. And make a hold down the Alt key. And go to Distort. And the last one is Zigzag. And you can choose Preview here. I'll just 
see the default here. And I said, okay. And you can see how crazy the big bill is here. Okay, so all of these top filters here are for the um, uh, they are for Victor. So you can go through these, and you can also rasterize any of these. Here's your path and your pathfinder and your stylized. Now you can take these. And let me just show you a little bit here. I can make one. Oh dear, it looks like I picked up. No, there we go. All right. So you can um, put um, under stylized. You can put a drop shadow on here, which is kind of cool. You can do that. I'll just move that. And I will cancel that. And uh, you can um, put glows on it and feather it. Oh, that is so cool. Wow, look at that feathering it. I'll cancel that. And um, an outer glow you can put on, which is quite nice. Look at that. Oh, that is so good. I'll cancel that. And let's see what else we have here. Oh, rounded corners. That's very nice. Um, well, I'll leave the rounded corners. I, I like that one. Okay, and, and you can see all of these were rounded. And let's see, I'll make one more here. And go to effect and stylize and scribble. I don't like scribble. That is so cool looking. It um, really is kind of a tricky kind of a look. And it's good. All right. So what you have here, and uh, I will make another copy here because I do want to show you something else. And that is um, the warp. In here, with the warp, you get to have so many different types of warp that you can do. And, and you can come here and look at them and try different ones and bend them in different ways and distort them. And it's just wonderful. So I'd like you to try them all out. Um, put your name on this and print it out after you're finished. That's it for the vector filters. Bye.